To Japanese Canadians, this park is hallowed ground. The park was home field to the legendary Asahi baseball team. During the 1920s and 30s, the Asahi won every championship title in the Pacific Northwest several times over. The Asahi were a great baseball team, but for Japanese Canadians, there were more than that. As the most popular team in the city with all Vancouverites, the Asahi filled Japanese Canadians with pride. Whenever they took the field, local businesses closed down and the stands were packed. Playing for the Asahi became the dream of virtually every Japanese Canadian boy. Through the Asahi junior teams, set up to spot young talent, one boy got his dream, Roy Yamamura. The Asahi had many great players, but one of the greatest and most popular was Roy Yamamura. Roy joined the Asahi as a shortstop when he was just 15. Small in stature, but quick and agile, Roy was a typical Asahi. To take on the bigger, stronger Caucasian teams, the Asahi had developed their own style of play, one that relied on defense and speed. Roy's ability to steal bases, as many as 50 a season, combined with the team's precision bunting and fielding, made the Asahi unstoppable. Beginning in 1937, the Asahi won a string of championships five years in a row. But in 1941, the winning streak came to an end. When Canada declared war on Japan, the federal government interned all people of Japanese descent, including the Asahi. After 18 years as a player and three as a manager, Roy and his fellow teammates had to disband. They never again played together as a team. But the story of the Asahi and baseball has another chapter. After players were interned to the camps, little by little, balls, bats, and gloves appeared. As teams formed, local townspeople gathered to watch them play. Soon, Japanese Canadians were playing games with the locals and leaving the camps to do so. During an incredibly dark and trying time, Baseball had become a common bond, a beacon of hope. In the late 1940s, with the closure of the camps, former Sahi players moved across the country and began to reestablish homes and businesses. In 1972, 30 years after the Asahi had played their last game here in the park, former players came together. The reunion was the beginning of the final chapter of the Asahi, one that recognized their impact on the Nikkei community and on the larger sporting community in Canada. Among the players was Roy Yamamura, now 65 and still active in baseball as an umpire for youth leagues in Toronto. In 2003, the Asahi team was inducted into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame, and in 2005, the BC Sports Hall of Fame. For the Asahi, it was recognition that skill, determination, and the power of a game could transcend adversity and racial barriers. <laughs>